just because you've moved your database management to AWS RDS doesn't mean a lot of fundamental tasks aren't going to be the same. You're still going to find yourself needing to compare databases on a server or to compare databases between servers and it's just the standard mechanisms that you're still going to need to be able to use. You also may want to compare to a backup or to a snapshot or to a set of scripts. All of this is standard practice even though you're on AWS RDS. Let's take a look at how SQL Compare can work in AWS RDS. So if we've got the login and everything, we can connect up and we see that there are databases there. So let's just do a standard database to database comparison and we'll use the same server for this. Let me provide the correct password and we will remember the credentials on both sides just to make things a little easier for me in the future. And so now I'm going to compare these two databases one to the other, even though this is on AWS. So it's connecting up to the server, it's going out to the cloud to make that connection. After it makes the connection, it's going to then read through the processes and read through the databases on both servers. And once it's done that, it will then map those databases and compare those databases. Now it's taking a little longer to walk through it, just because it's going up through the cloud right now, um, and that, that's just going to run a little longer than normal. But it's still, in fact, running, as you can see. So it's completed one database. It's now working on the other. It's completed that database. It's done the mapping. It's done the comparison. And it's complete. And when we get back, you will see that there are 28 objects identical between the two, mostly system views and system tables. Um, but you'll notice uh, we've got a couple of tables that are exactly the same. There are some tables on one and not the other, and two tables in both uh, that are in both, but somewhat different, um, missing some information. Let's take a look at what might be missing. In this case, there's a non-clustered index on the radio table, and on the radio band table, we have a missing foreign key. And then Obviously, you see that there's a missing table, um, a whole table missing with one database, and then a view and a stored procedure. In short, all of the standard database objects can be compared. We could compare triggers and everything else. Also, all the normal operations within SQL Compare will work the same. Everything is almost exactly the same as if you were running it locally. However, there are a couple of, little, a couple of differences. Oops, I need to select all my objects first. There are a couple of differences. Now, we can deploy using SQL Compare or we can deploy using a script. Deploying with a script is exactly the same way as you would expect. It generates a T-SQL script and then you have that T-SQL script to run. So there's not really anything to look at there. Let's take a look at deploying using Compare. Now, if we say back up the target before deployment, that would cause us a problem because the, you'll notice that the path doesn't exist. There's not a way in AWS to do a standard SQL Server backup unless you do some a whole bunch of additional work which the normal default install doesn't have. So this is the one thing that you can't do but it's a limitation from AWS not from SQL Compare itself. Otherwise if we want to do a comparison um, without the backup we can. Let's go back and remove that and let's go ahead and see if we can do the full deploy. It's going to generate the script. It found out that there were no dependencies on the basic script and we can deploy now. Let's go ahead and try it out. This is the server we want to go to. So it's run everything already on the server. It's going to rerun a compare and while that compare runs I'll go ahead and wrap up. The compare is just going to validate that everything is the same. If it's going to identify if there's any missing changes or anything. In this case, there won't be any because everything's fine. In short, except for that backup, it is a completely standard run of SQL Compare, the same as you would get if you were running it locally. Thanks for watching. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.